So good morning, everyone. Thank you for uh, coming so early. My pleasure once again to uh, present into this conference and uh, put an update on uh, what Nemaska Lithium has been doing uh, in the last year. We've made a lot of uh, progress, and I would obviously like to share them with you. So, as you know, I'm the president and the founder, so I will be making forward-looking statements. You're warned. We've done a couple of nice uh, video, and uh, would like to share the advancement with you. This was shot in uh, early December. The Wubushi project has been discovered in 1962-1963. Since that time, it was dormant. We discovered this late 2009, when there was a big increase in demand for lithium, that it resurged. And since that time, we're developing what is now known as the second world largest and richest deposit of spodumene. And it's gonna put Quebec on map for about 10, 15% of the world supply by 2020. For this project, our schedule has always been very tight. We want to take the window of opportunity to be in production by the end of 2018. But we never sacrificed on the metallurgical testing and being able to make sure that we've designed the, the proper flow sheet for the concentrator and the conversion capacity in Shawinigan. We also decided that we would be doing the transformation into high value lithium salts here in Quebec, taking advantage of hydroelectricity as the main reagent. So we involved and we expanded a lot of money into optimization of the flow sheet, optimization of the process, and also developing a new technique of making high value lithium salts, lithium hydroxide and lithium carbonate from Spazumane here in Quebec. So currently what we're targeting is to complete a 60,000 ton bulk sample with our small new dense media separation concentrator that we just installed. It's gonna start in Q1 of 2017 and be operating throughout 2017 while we're building the large commercial concentrator in, that you see in the back. We hope to be putting this um, concentrator in the mine in full operation sometime in Q1, Q2 of 2018. So I suppose it did sound because I was absolutely frozen. And uh, the reason why I like to show this video, usually when I'm presenting in a lithium conference, there was a lot of Asian and uh, Australian, and everybody is wondering if we can mine in Quebec in winter. So I like to show that, uh, yes, there's road and uh, we can survive, even if it's cold. <coughs> so the, um, the uh, Nemaska, what it is, it is to become a lithium hydroxide, lithium carbonate producer, and by being vertically integrated, that's a big, big difference as a, for us is the key to success. We are not like uh, most of the Australian uh, new producers or wannabe producers of spodumene concentrate with the only end product going to the Chinese converters, then dependent on the third party to make money on your back. So we decided that we would be vertically integrated from the mine to the end product. That's what the value added is. And because we're doing that in Quebec, and because we own the reserve, there is no intermediary. So the cost of producing your lithium salt is by far, by far cheaper than all of the lithium sector in China. Obviously, your main cost is the lithium unit. So every time that you save $10, $50, $100, you multiply that by seven or eight, and it reflects in the cost at the end. So we decided to do that. One other thing that uh, advantage that we've developed over time, we have decided, and we always kept this way uh, or the track, is to have our own internal team. So we, in the past, had our own uh, geological team when we went into the preliminary economic assessment, mining engineers. And uh, we realized late in uh, 2012 that finally it is not a mining project, it is a chemical project. So we decided to hire our own internal team of uh, metallurgists and chemists to develop and continue optimizing the, uh, hydro uh, the hydromet process that we're using to make lithium salts. So that's one of the advantage. You have your corporate knowledge and you have also the capacity to really dedicate your team and effort 
on developing something that is worth. Uh, we also have are putting on the market the process to have the greenest and the cheapest way of making the some salts. We will have a little uh, video describing the process itself. And uh, we are reducing the reagent used in the conventional process of making the some salt by about 75%. We take 75 to 80% less sulfuric acid than the conventional process. We do not use soda ash. We use hydroelectricity in place as a replacement for the reagent. Uh, we regenerate the sulfuric acid, therefore we don't need lime to neutralize it. We therefore do not produce gypsum. So a lot of advantage that we have found and that we're putting to the market. We have already signed 50% of the sales, uh, sale of 50% uh, of our expected production. So close to 14,000 ton of the some carbonate equivalent sold to two clients, Johnson Matty battery material, the first one, and FMC, uh, the second one. These are multi-year contracts. And just to reassure uh, the other players in the, the room that are coming into the market for lithium salts, there is a market, there is an interesting market, because we decided to stop at 50%. So we're, we did not accept other offers to sell more. We could have sold over 100%, so over 28,000 ton, if we had wanted. We decided to stop at 50% because the, the idea is that we wanted to have enough sales with credible uh, clients to be able to support the debt service of the, what we want to put as debt on the project. So yes, there's a market, and yes, there are people out there looking for reliable source of supply. The mine site is very well located and it has all the advantage uh, required to make from this project a complete success. We have to know that the, uh, the main road that connects the, uh, the James Bay to uh, Shibugamo is going right across the, uh, the mine site. And within 30 kilometers, we have different infrastructures from Hydro-Quebec, an airport, electrical substation, and even a camp that is uh, available for us to eventually shelter our employees uh, and is presently used for the construction uh, people on site. The uh, Cree community of Nemaska is located at 30 kilometers. They're already busy helping with the construction and eventually will be the source of our employees. The mine site will extract 1.1 million ton of uh, ore and the concentration will be done on site, which will produce about 213,000 tons of podumen concentrate. The ore will be carried by trucks. We expect to use six trucks of 100 ton capacity each. We expect to uh, use the CN uh, Railroad to uh, carry the material for the last 500 kilometers separating Shibugamo from Shawinigan. Every three days, 1,800 tons of material will be convoyed by train to uh, Shawinigan. The material will access the site from the northwest and will carry the material on the east side where uh, unloading facility will allow the material to be either stockpiled on a reserve or feeding uh, directly the plant uh, for transformation. So, yeah, and I like other people from the team to join and present. So uh, in order to cut the cost, we wanted to show the videos. That's why I introduced that in my presentations. One of the reasons we're able to move rapidly <coughs> into production in uh, Q1 of 2019, expected for the uh, commercial plant, is the fact that we have been able to acquire existing facility of a closed paper mill company. And that's where we also were able to install our phase one plant. So a small, the smallest commercial plant we could build to be able to engage client with mine representative samples, large samples coming from the mine and also being produced by a commercial size electrolyzer. 
So uh, that phase one plan is currently up and running to treat lithium sulfate from a client and uh, return him, returning to it uh, to him the uh, lithium hydroxide produced by the electroly electrolyzer. Uh, the ore from the mine will start being processed at the end of June, and uh, the idea is to be able to pre-qualify the product with clients while building the commercial plant. So um, this is, well, you've seen the video, there was a lot more building. This is Photoshop to show what it will like once the former owner has demolished all of the buildings. So a uh, very, very close to the hydromet, uh, hydroelectric dam, we're going to use about 40 to 50 megawatt of electricity to produce that 28,000 ton of lithium carbonate equivalent. So I'll present you another video here with the, the guys at the, um, at the plant and uh, talking about the process itself. The basis of the Nimaska lithium technology is to use electrochemistry as a replacement of conventional chemistry. So the use of electrochemistry allows us to use hydroelectric power to produce directly lithium hydroxide monohydride and lithium hydroxide monohydride is a chemical compound that has higher commercial value for the manufacture of lithium batteries. The Masca Lithium innovative process can be described in five main steps. We will receive mineral concentrate from Wabushi Mine, and the first step will be to extract the lithium from the mineral with sulfuric acid as a salt, and then we dissolve this salt in water. The second step is to purify the solution in a similar manner as it was made for decades in the chloroalkali industry. Electrochemistry make it possible to replace uh, the conventional chemical reagent used by the conventional uh, chemical process and replace it by hydroelectric power. By doing so, we eliminate byproducts and we drastically reduce the amount of reagent needed for the production of the lithium compound. At the heart of the process is the electromembrane process. On one side, we use hydroelectricity to make lithium hydroxide and hydrogen as a byproduct. And on the other side, we produce sulfuric acid and oxygen. Lithium hydroxide is then sent to a, a last step. We do two crystallization to purify the, the lithium hydroxide, and we end with a salt that will be used by uh, battery makers. The use of electrochemistry and hydroelectric power also allow us to drastically reduce the amount of greenhouse gases emission directly related to the production of the lithium compound. Sulfuric acid is recycled in the process to replace 75 to 80 percent of the acid required to extract the lithium, and hydrogen is reused as a source of energy in the process. All those recycles help to reduce the cost of production and improve the impact on the environment of the process. That is why Nemaska Lithium obtained close to 16 million of non-refundable subsidies for the development and demonstration of this very innovative process. So what's the cost advantage? <coughs> you see here the uh, uh, a slide that was pre prepared in 2015 by uh, Atch and by uh, Ruskill that was uh, uh, presented by Ruskill. You see in dark brown the cash cost of making lithium hydroxide for the main producers around the world. Obviously to the left you see Rockwood with now Albemarle and SQM, that's the Chilean operation. And you see Chenchi, other China and Genfeng in the center, which are spodumene converters, and FMC, which is a brine conver uh, producer in Argentina. So it immediately shows that it's not true that all brines are equal, and it also shows that all brines don't have uh, a cost advantage over uh, the hard rock, FMC being about equal to the hard rock lithium conversion in, uh, in China. One, two important things to uh, look at this slide. First, it's a blended technical and battery grade cost for everybody except us. We only have one grade, it's uh, battery grade. And uh, also, it takes into consideration that the, um, the Chinese lithium sector is buying spodumene concentrate at $430 per ton of 6% uh, spodumene concentrate, CIF China. And you see that we already have a, quite a big margin difference. The reality since fall of 2015 is not that 
since the fall of 2015 when the Chenchi decided to reduce the run of mine at Talison, it forced others like Genfeng to go and buy uh, interest in an existing mine or develop other source. Or, uh, and therefore, Genfeng currently is buying uh, its spot domain concentrate from the joint venture with Neometal at $750 per ton CIF China. Remember, it takes 7.5 ton of material to make one ton of finished product. The other Chinese that don't have the benefit to uh, have uh, a source of supply now need to go on the market and they are buying from Galaxy Resources. Galaxy Resources has a 5.5 to 6% spot domain concentrate. If we assume 6% concentrate being shipped to China, it's roughly $950 to $1,000 CIF China. So you see that there's a big, big, big difference. And the, for once, the Chinese cannot reduce and take advantage of their capacity of conversion because they are dependent on importing the raw material. So it gives us very large advantage on the cost structure because we do transformation and because we know we own the, resor the reserves. Very rapidly, our feasibility study still uh, of 2016 Initial 26-year mine life, we're fully permitted to mine 1.1 million ton of ore per year. That amounts to about 28,000 ton lithium carbonate equivalent. So uh, 2.4 year payback, 30% IRR after tax, $1.3 billion Canadian. So very interesting project, very interesting project that we're currently um, financing to put in production. I spoke about the offtake agreements we signed. Uh, rapidly, but there's no, there's nobody playing the market here. So uh, this is the capital structure. We have about uh, what 350, 360 million market cap. Uh, even though uh, Tracy, we are doing good this year. We're still lower than last year, but the market softened a bit for all of the uh, the projects. But uh, in a very, very good position to be able to uh, move this project ahead. Our largest shareholder. Fully diluted is the Quebec government under Resource Quebec, about 11%. Management owns about 10% fully diluted. Uh, we've been able to, and we succeeded last um, summer of 2016, of raising $69 million. And uh, of the 69, we raised 62 strictly from institutions. So um, we're able to attract 32 new uh, institutions worldwide. So that uh, bodes well for the future of the financing of the commercial project. One of the widely, most widely covered uh, lithium stock. Eight different uh, analysts covered the stock. And quite active on the, all the news that we are uh, putting forward. So perfectly timed to enter the chain of supply. One of the lowest and greenest, well, the low, one of the lowest cost producer to be and by far the greenest uh, produ production capacity on lithium salts. Uh, we're supported and have been supported by the Quebec and federal government to develop this project. We have already signed large offtake agreements, so well placed to enter the chain of supply in a timely manner. Thank you very much.